All right, everybody. This is vlog number 12. Okay, I just got finished. Oh my gosh, my sentences have been jacked up lately. I just got finished. I just, fin I just finished my workout for today. And uh, I thought it'd be a great time to start this uh, vlog right after because I have like an important thing to say that I'm experiencing right now is just again the importance of drinking water because I just was doing some side lunges and I just started cramping up really badly and I could feel my hamstrings super tight and I had to think to myself, have I been drinking my water today? And I realized I have not been sticking up on, staying up on top of that. And I really feel like that is the reason why I'm cramping up because I never cramp, I always drink my water. And I think it's aggravated because I'm working out. So like, I've just been re, I just started working out again about three weeks ago. So, I know that since my body's requiring more energy, I need to make sure I stay on top of drinking my water that much more because my body is requiring more energy to function and I gotta make sure that I'm constantly cleansing out and making sure there's a consistent flow of energy in my body and we can do that just by drinking a lot of water because water It's cleansing. You know, I think of staying hydrated like when you're at the bottom of, like let's say your protein drink or something, or some, some sort of mixed powdered drink in your water. Well, when you get down to the end, if, you, if you've ever had a drink that's had clumps at the bottom, the more water that you have at the bottom, you can swirl that that stuff around and you can actually mix it up in the water. But if you get, if you drink too much of the water and it goes all the way down, there's no water, those clumps can't get broken up. And so I relate staying hydrated like that uh, to your body, that those clumps at the bottom of your cup or your protein shake are the buildup of toxic material, waste in your body. And the more water you have in your cup or the more water you have in your body, the easier it is to grab those toxins and flush them out. And it's always, it's a process, it takes a long time. So you have to make sure that uh, you constantly have that flowing out because it just chips away at it. it. It flushes things out little by little by little. Unless you have like a tox, uh, a, a, like a massive detox where you just go into like a whole like release of energy. You get a bunch of acne or you get a rash or something or you have an emotional reaction all of those things are rapid ca caused by rapid um rapid detox if you do detox too fast those sort of things can come up it's a possibility so what i'm doing i was just gonna stop the workout and then just go and get some food but i wanted to make sure that I am doing my stretch afterwards because now that I've given my body so much heat, because I've been, I was working it, and I was, in, I was increasing my heart rate, um, now that there's heat in these muscles, they're gonna relax that much easier. So that's why it's just so important to stretch after you work out, even though I don't do it all the time, it doesn't change the truth that it's still good to stretch after you work out. And you pay the price, I pay the price when I don't. And it's, I was telling my friend earlier today that there's a reason why they call it a practice. It takes work, it takes time. You're learning constantly about, you know, your life and your experience and what works best for you. So give yourself a break. But when you hear a truth that resonates with you, remember it and try to capitalize on it. Try to do it, try to implement it. Because if it resonates with you, you might be asking for it. Oh, 
So all I was doing was just basic hamstring stretches. The side lunges require a bit of like lateral usage of the of the leg and my medial uh, it like requires a lot of stabilization in that thigh and in the middle of uh, oh god I'm just pushing on the, the medial side of my my quad and it's just giving me a lot of relief muscles I don't frequently use. Something um, I think is also important is, or what, what I really just come to want to, to do more of is just functional training in general. Just getting back to having fun with my movements. And when I'm working out, I'm trying to think, how is my body doing this? When I move my body, whether it be yoga or now all I'm doing is just putting my forearm into that medial side of my quad, just giving it some compressions. And that just increases the blood flow that much more. I don't remember what I was saying before that. Um, oh, functional training. Um, I've just been getting more into that. Oh, having a connection when you're working out with, how is my body doing that? Right, just bringing bringing the, all of my attention and, and my attention and my intention into what I'm doing so I can feel it in my body of how my body is making these movements happen. Because then you're gonna, f and that's why I know, because I was doing that, that's why I know right in my quad where it's hurting. It's hurting on the inside because I needed that muscle to push me back to my center. So I was constantly using that inside and out those medial lateral, those lateral movements um, of the of the leg and because I was aware of how my body is moving its energy I knew as soon as it started happening right where it's it's hurting and what I need to do and how I need to fix or remedy this pain that I'm experiencing something um, is important that I have made it really simple for myself of how to stretch any part of your body is like, if you don't know what to stretch, right? If you're like, ooh, this hurts, like, well, how can I get relief from that? Well, a muscle works two ways. It contracts and it releases, or it, it flexes and it extends in some form or form. All of them, so they all flex, they all extend. Some smaller, some bigger, some rotate, you know, all that stuff. But there is this contraction and expansion. So, Whatever a muscle needs to, whatever joints it's pulling together or whatever, um, how much it's traveling in space, you just need to go the opposite way. The best way to describe that, because that was a janky explanation, but the best way to describe that is think of your bicep. So when you flex your bicep, you're bringing it in this way. So. Your bicep is a muscle that is attached in your shoulder and your elbow. And when you do this, they are con they're contracting and pulling it closer. So that's going to cause tightness and, you know, issues. If I were to hold, if my, if my arm were to just be like this all the time for the rest of my life, my bicep would actually shorten. So the, the, all you have to do is just put it in extension, which you see also activates the tricep because we need the tricep to extend this. So how I would stretch my bicep would literally like, you know, I'm pretty flexible. I have a good range of motion here, so you know, I'm not really getting much of a stretch. But if I want to add maybe some stretch, I'd pull on here, flex my forearm, because that's also gonna pull on my bicep too. But the idea is that anytime you're in a contract position, try to find the, just, just find the opposite position of that. What's the opposite of this? This. You know, like if your lower back is hurting, most likely due to poor posture and various of other reasons, you might, I'm over exaggerating, but you might be slouching too much. So what is the way to correct that? Boom. You go into extension, you go lay on, you lay on one of these things. This one's a little too small for me. It's probably 55 centimeter or inch, whatever the frick. 
I'm like six foot two, so I need like a 70 something, but it works. I just need to put myself into an extension because I'm hunched over so much. And that's one of the biggest things. That is literally how I broke down my posture program was showing simply how do we fix a, a posture that is hunkered down like this? You just put it into a position like this much more often. And that's what I did. That's, that's how I think I have good posture, um, why I'm able to hold my posture pretty well when I sit and even though it's hard to do it for long periods of time, but still like generally I have good posture because I have trained my body to go in extension more. Uh, and I really, I, I want to see if that's uh, more relevant with other people when they do that, when they do the posture program, because it worked for me, I want to see if it works for somebody else. <sighs> yes. Yes. Okay, I think that's it. I'm going to be good with that. 11 minutes. Oh, you know what? No, I did say in my last vlog that I was going to share a little bit of my future sort of goals and projects that I want to work on. Um, this, and this is one of them. I, I need to make like a, a video sort of progression of what I just described about how to like st stretching made simple. Like I'm sure there's a bunch of videos out there of stretching made simple with other people, but I just know it for myself and the process that it's taken me to get to a place of like, oh, I have this awareness now of like, oh, when something is tight, I know how to stretch it and I know how to move my body around. And I just want to start creating some content around that so that more people can get that awareness themselves. Cause that's my ultimate goal with any of my work that I do in massage therapy and you know, body work is that I don't want my client to come see me, like need to see me uh, every day or, you know, like even every week, even though I could argue that having a massage once a week is, oh, it's amazing. Uh, but I don't want the necessity to be there. I want someone to know that they're coming to see me every week if that's what they choose to do is because that's like what their body calls for. But that's because they have that awareness of it. I don't want someone just coming to me because they think they have to get a massage just to stay and feel good. A massage should be like a part of your recovery that helps you either stay good or get you back to um, you know a better balance. But massage can be a part of that routine, but it shouldn't be a necessity. And I don't want to be a uh, an enabler of those poor postures and such like that. Just by taking pain away, it gives people that idea that, oh, this person fixed me, when in reality, that's not true. I just helped your body get back to a, like a more natural state and it's gonna get back to fuck up. It's gonna get back, to, it's gonna go back to being fucked up because you're not changing your, you know, your core of what's actually wrong. Yeah, you know, a massage therapist can rub out the knots but and, 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 and lengthen your muscles all day, but it, it's just going to repeat as long as you keep staying the same. So my biggest thing with my work is just trying to give people that education so that they can keep growing and they can keep going forward and not have to rely on that therapist to, to do the work for them. So I want to do like a stretching made simple videos and progressions and just small stuff to make it easy on people. Um, and hopefully that helps with more chronic stress because uh, I know the more that I stretch, honestly, just the better that I feel in general. And then I also want to do some content in the future. Like I want to make a, uh, I want to make a, a, a commercial sort of like a, a, a bio commercial sort of just telling about me and my practice and what I want to accomplish with it. And you know, what, are, what is my intention and goals with it is. And then to also do like a, a body work training sort of maybe like a course or um, just teaching couples like the basic of, of touch because I, I have a lot of um, clients, you know, male and female that say, oh, my husband, you know, I ask him to give me a massage and after three minutes, he's done. And the, the husbands say the same thing about the wives. And it's, I, I would love to be able to give people just some like basic massage techniques so that, that they don't hurt themselves when they're doing that with their partner. Um, and honestly, to help bring that work, that, that, that massage work closer to the home so that like maybe they don't have the time, space, money or whatever to go and get that full hour. They know a few basic moves to, to help move some energy and flush some energy out. Um, so those are a few simple ideas, but uh, that's it. That's 15 minutes. Thank you. Wow.